Today we're going to learn semi-quaver. We already learned crotchet, which is one count, quaver, half count, and now semi-quaver, one quarter count. So one crotchet equals to two quavers and four semi-quavers. First, you need to draw the note head. After that, add a stem and then two tails because one tail is quaver and two tails make semi-quaver. And again, for quaver or semi-quaver, you will need to group them if you have more than one, otherwise it looks very messy. For example, you have four semi-quaver which is equal to one count. This is quite messy, so we will group all four together like this. Now mark true or false, one quarter equals to four semi-quaver. This is correct. One minute, eight semi-quavers. One semi with 16 semi quavers is also correct. Now, quaver, a quaver equals to actually only two, so this is wrong. It's supposed to have two semi quavers, and one crotchet supposed to have four semi quavers. This is wrong. One semi brief supposed to have 16 semi quavers. This is also wrong. Next, rewrite the following joining the quavers and semi quavers. So, time signature 2, 4, you just need to copy. And these are two quavers, makes one crotchet. You will need to group them together and they look very neat. This is crotchet and it is already correct, so we just need to copy these two quavers and quavers. Just group them together and one crotchet. Do not join the crotchet together like this, it will make them quavers and then the counting will become wrong. So we will erase this one. Okay. Next, three, four. Four semi quaver makes a crotchet. So we will also group them together. And these two are already correct. It is just crotchet. They don't need any grouping. Just copy them. Now two. Quaver and minim also don't need any grouping. Four four with two quavers makes one count. Second count and then third. And fourth. These two are correct so just copy two four now as you can see why is this going down and this is going up because we have five line and on the third line the notes can go like this or like this so the stem can go down or up for the third line but below third line we so we are supposed to draw up and above third line is down so any note like this or like this but when you have more than one and you need to group them together we will choose to follow the moles the moles are going down so this a will follow them to go down instead of going up and then these two are called semi quavers. We will join them together. This whole thing makes one. So we usually group one bit by one bit. Now four semi quavers. So we will go up. Since three of these are up. And then. This is like this. So for different value like this, we may have a few other varieties. For example, semi quaver plus quaver plus semi quavers. This also makes one count. And the way to group will be firstly, everyone have one line but the first and the third one has on a uh, two line so we'll do this way 
but in the case like this like what we just did then it will just become like this and only the first two note has two lines or the other way around one quiver with two semi quivers you will have this the last two let's move on to the revision so name the following the first one is treble clef now four four time signature we have two four three four or four four in grade one and this line that separate the bar is called bar line now this is a bar and this line just the same as all these five lines it's called ledger line now double bar line is usually at the end write the following notes as semi brief f line note so the higher one d space note the bottom one e line note also the bottom one g space note the highest one c space note also a high c and not middle c now base clef b space note will be here d line note in the middle a space note here g line note also on the bottom f space note is the lowest one that you learn in grade one okay next rewrite the following joining the notes where necessary three four just copy so one two three for now we will learn about grouping bit by bit so first two notes mix one and next two notes second bit third bit is just copy this is also we don't need to group anything here okay now two four clotted is already correct you don't need any grouping four semi quivers we will group all of them together and two crotchet is already correct four 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 times signature this four makes one so we will group these four together one crotchet just copy minim just copy and semi brief also just copy three four these two makes one crochet crochet two quivers also makes one and one minimum now we are going to learn rest we have already learned all the notes value until semi quiver is one quarter count and these are the rests rests are usually written on the third space space one space two space three so here semi brief rest is the one hanging on top here this is four counts is this one now minimum rest is the one on the bottom two count rest quarter rest it looks a little bit like a Z and a C. Is this one? Quaver rest, like a smiley Y. This is half count. Semi quaver rest is looks very much like a quaver rest, but also have two tails. This is one quarter count. So again, this table you will need to memorize. Semi brief rest is also called a bar rest. It is used to fill an empty bar of 2, 4, 3, 4, or 4, 4. So, for example, 2, 4, you will usually need 1, 2, 2 counts. 
but if the whole bar is empty instead of putting a minimum press go ahead and put a semi press now let's insert a rest at each of the place mark with the crochet minimum or semi brief four four means you need four counts in a bar you already have two and one so three and only one missing so a crochet rest two crochet so two more counts so a minimum rest for this one third bar these two makes one this is one this is one total is three so one more to make four and two so you need two more now empty bar just put a semi refresh next three four you already have two you are sort of one this four semi makes one plus one is two one more this is one plus one also two and one more a whole bar is empty just put a semi refresh two counts you need one more comes to make three next four four why is it two rest here because the rules of the rest is never combined bits number two and three so instead of one minimum rest you need to put two separate quarter rest so first and second rest is okay to combine and third and fourth is also okay to combine only the second and third you can't combine so one two three four now whole bar is empty just semi brief rest so it's also good to note down here that the second and the third beat no combine okay it's for you to remember Next is about the same thing. Insert a rest now with either crochet, quaver, or semi quaver rest. Two, four, you need two counts. This two makes one. One more count is missing. Now, this is also two rest here because we need to settle first beat and then the second beat later. Just like the grouping of the notes we done earlier, we need to group one group by one group. So, quaver rest here quiver rest here these two makes half another half will make one plus one is two three semi quivers you need one more semi quiver to make a crochet and another crochet three four one two the third bar is incomplete it only have three semi quivers so one more semi quiver rest these two makes one this is one one more crochet now two and a half you need another half and you already have two here so another crochet next we will learn about tie ties note it has to be the same note and next to each other so we usually don't play this on the piano or any other instruments you just need to hold but it has to be on the same note for example this is an F here. Let's do it in a crochet. And this is also F. This is called tie. We play it here and then we just hold here. Do not need to play here. But if it is written on a different note, this is not a tie. This is slow. We will learn that later. Or if you have more than one note like this, this is also not a tie. This is a slur. So it has to be next to each other and then join. Now write down the number of a crochet beads. This is like accounting. One semi brief equals to four crochet. One quiver equals to how many crochet? Only half. One minim has two crochet. One semi quiver. One quarter quarter only. One quarter, of course, one. So first, join notes of the same sound. They have to be the same note with a tie. Then write the number of quarter beats made by the tie.
for example these two g and g these are the same note you join them together and you only play it here and hold so total is one plus two total is three counts when you play them next same note next to each other is here f so two plus half two and a half count two and a half crotchet beat next like this f and f if you join together they are not called tie they are slurs it has to be same note next to each other two plus four six bit now a crotchet here semi quaver here one count and one quarter here two plus one three and here one plus a quaver half one and a half crotchet bit next mark true or false a minimum and a semi quiver two one quarter correct crotchet plus quiver one and a half this is two plus three minimum and dotted minimum dotted minimum is three count by the way so total is five this is four and a half so this is wrong so i'm going to page 11 here just to add for you this is dotted minimum it is three counts we have this in the beginner's book but if this is your first book then we will start from now for dotted minimum back to our exercise dotted minimum plus a crotchet 3 plus 1 is 4 this is correct now crotchet semi quiver 1 1 quarter 2 and a half so this is wrong next page we are actually going to learn about dotted note so as you can see here dotted minimum this is three count the dot is half of whatever you have in front for example this is minimum plus a dot half of minimum is a crotchet so it makes three one plus one plus one so if you have minimum which is a two bits and you're going at a dot means minimum plus half of minimum which is a crotchet that's why it end up into dotted minimum which is three count so three equals to two plus half of two is one equals to three so maybe i'll put this two plus a dot dot means half of this one so if four plus a dot means four plus half of four two total six in notes it will be like semi brief with a dot it becomes semi brief plus half of semi brief minimum so this is six count like this and that's how dotted crotches and dotted quaver came from now let's fill in the blank with the correct number what dotted minimum how many minimum is only one and a half this is three this is two three divided by two three counts equals to three crochet because crochet is one count only now one dotted minimum how many quivers six because this is half one dotted minimum equals to how many semi quiver this is three this is one quarter so three divided one quarter twelve one dotted crochet is one and a half count this is one so the answer is one and a half one and a half and half so this is three and then semi quivers six dotted quivers three semi quiver
exercise number two add dot when necessary to make complete bar so four for this bar is incomplete because it's only two three and a half you need to add a dot at either one of these to complete the bar so if i put it here it will become three plus one plus half four and a half then it's wrong so the correct one is here two plus one and a half plus half is just nice four now two plus one one is missing either this one or this one so is here okay next is this one one quiver make it a dotted quiver so this makes one and a one two so total is four next you have one half one half so total is three you need four so we have to add two dots actually by adding a dot here it makes one and a half so until here is already two counts rest we can also add a dot for the rest so total is four now add a dot at the crotchet it makes it one and a half plus half is two plus two is four next three four one two two and a half so you just need half more and then add a dot here next is here for the rest and minim plus a dot three next question quaver plus a dot now a crotchet plus a dot this makes two in total one and a half plus half half plus one quarter right so add a dot here this whole thing makes one plus one is two crotchet dot one and a half half Next, add bar line to the following. This is called upbeat, where you don't have a complete beat in the beginning. Two, four, by right, you have to have two count and then one bar line, right? But you start with only one, so you will end with one also usually. This is one, this is another one, second bit. So bar line, one, two, bar line, one and a half plus half, bar line. One, two, one, two, one, two. So this is what I mean by the up beat. The first beat is here, actually. This is the second beat. And this is counted as bar number one, bar number two, bar number three. So this is not counted at the first bar when you count. And these are all called up beat. Three, four is also starting from an up beat. Third, third beat here. And then bar line. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three here. Next is the revisions. Under each of the following, write the time name. This is a semi brief rest, four counts, quaver rest, half count, dotted minimum rest, three counts. Semi quiver rest one quarter, dotted crotchet one and a half. Next to each of the following, write a note that has the same time value. This is a minim rest, so we just draw a minim crotchet rest. Just draw a crotchet, dotted quiver, semi brief, semi quiver. Mark true or false. One dotted quarter equals to three quavers. Correct. One dotted minimum equals to four quarter. Wrong. You have to have three quarter instead. One quaver equals to two semi quavers only. So this is wrong. One quarter equals to four semi quavers. Correct. One semi brief. Two minimum. So one minimum note. One minimum press. This is correct. One minim equals to two counts, right? This is one, two, three. This is wrong. One quarter equals to only two quavers. This is also wrong. One dotted minim, one, two, three. Correct. Add one breast at each of the place. Mark 
to make the bus complete. So this is for four. You already have two plus one. You need another one. You have two here. You need another minimum here. Two plus one is three. One more. The whole bar is empty in grade one. You just need to put a semi refresh when you see a whole bar empty. Three, four. You already have one, two and a half. So half more to make three. You already have one, two, three quarters. So one quarter, two plus one makes three. The whole bar empty. Just semi refresh. Quiver and a dot. Another semi quiver. This makes one. Then two, three, four is just nice. So one, two, three, four. This two makes one. Here also two plus half half here, but two rest here, so half each. So one, two, three, and four. Next, we will learn about accidentals. Accidentals is sub or flat or natural that is written just beside the note on the left usually. So sharp raise one semitone in pitch, which means one step only. And then flat lower a note by one semitone. And natural is just to cancel the sub or flat to make them a normal notes. For example, this is a G. This is F with a sign of the sharp here, it becomes F sharp. So on the piano, you're going to play on the black key. And this is same bar. This note is called F sharp as well. Because the sub, flat or natural, all accidental last for a bar. Until you have a bar line and you need to draw another one if you need. So this is also F sharp because you already have a sharp here. You don't need to write two sub like this because they are on the same bar like this. So this is the wrong one and this is the correct one. But if the F is at different octave, this is low F, this is high F, of course you need to put both sharps like this. So the way to draw sharp, it looks a little bit like hex, two line like this. And you just need to put on the left of the note. If the note is a line note, your sharp is also written like as if you are going to write the note and then like this. If the note is a space note, like this, right? You also just put it on the space, just beside the note. Do not draw out of the place for the sharp, flat, natural. For example, this is the note. You can only write it here. And if you write it here, this is wrong, this is out of the place. Or even just one step higher, this is also wrong. It belongs to the line note. So just exactly beside the note, whether it's a sub or flat or natural. So now put a sharp before each note and name the note. This is a space note. A sharp a line note G sharp. This is also line note. Oops, it's a little bit too far. Here D sharp. So close to the note, not too far. Now here this is f sharp next bass clef this is a sharp this is f sharp g sharp so when we read we will read g sharp but when we write we will write the sharp first and then the note Next is a flat. Flat is look like almost like a B, like this only. Same way of writing as the sub G 
flat E flat now B flat A flat D flat this is B flat E flat A flat D flat G flat Next is the natural Natural is like L and then upside down L so also same thing if it's on the line node right like this if it's on the space node also just like how you draw the node this is B natural I'll just draw this is faster B E natural which is also E natural means just natural no sharp no flat so this is oops D natural this is C natural okay so this is F I'll just omit the natural it's the same so this is G D and lastly A this will be too big um now write the required note F sharp you can choose to write the bottom one the higher one is fine C sub now B flat like this D natural D is here natural now E flat G natural is fine which one you want to write first actually A flat now G sub Name the note. Okay, so this number one is E flat. Number two here is B flat. Number three, A flat. Number four, this is A flat because you have a flat sign here. It lasts for a whole bar. So this is A flat. This is C. Number one, B flat. Number two, E flat number three F sharp number four this is B flat because same bar you have flat here you will be flat here as well this is D now bass clap this is C sharp F sharp A sharp and this is also A sharp same bar you see here and here separated by bar line so they have to put a strap even though it's just next to each other while here in the same bar they don't need to put any more but it is still a sharp this is b now natural to cancel an accidental because this is B flat, same bar, this is also B flat, but you do not want a flat anymore. You have to put a natural sign to make it just a B without any sub, without any flat. This is called key signature. Key signature. When you see a flat here, means this is B flat and the whole bar or pieces is going to have a B flat. They don't need to write every bar on the notes. For example, these short pieces here, you have a B flat in front here. So this note is automatically played as B flat. They do not need to write it here anymore. This is also played as B flat because in front here, you already have a flat sign for B. Means the whole song, whenever you see a B note, you play B flat. Where for accidentals, 
for example, this one doesn't have any key signature here. So they put on the accidental, specifically on the note that they want. G with a sharp. So you play G sharp. This is also G with a sharp. You play G sharp. All this without accidental, then you just play naturally. C, B, A without sharp or flat. Key signature with B flat. This note will be B flat. And this is by right is a B flat if you don't put a natural sign. So you do not want a flat anymore. Just put a natural. Another example here. F sharp because of the key signature here is F sharp. So this one F sharp. This is also F sharp if without a natural sign. So just put a natural. It go back to F on the white key on the piano and it follows the last accidental so i'm going to cover this one first this is f sharp this is f natural and this f will follow this one and if you want to restore again to the sharp you need to put another sub sign here otherwise it will become just f natural so the difference between key signature and accidental key signature is written on the front Right beside the clef, it lasts for a whole song, even after the bar line, like this. It lasts for a whole song after bar line. But for accidentals, like this, it lasts for only one bar. After bar line, no more sharp, no more flat. And if you need, you just try another one. This is called accidentals. Now let's learn about cancelling the accidentals. This has three flat here, B flat, E flat, A flat right so but this is a b natural here already and this is automatically b natural they want to restore it to the original pitch which is b flat you have to put a flat sign here next a flat restore to the original pitch a natural so there's no sharp no flat on this one this is c there's no C sharp or C flat here. This is for B, E, A, D. And this is C sharp. So this will become C sharp. To cancel C sharp, just put a natural. G sharp, just put a natural to cancel it. Now A sharp. This is also A sharp. So to cancel, a natural sign. G sharp also become G sub if it's same bar so now G natural F sub this will become F sub so we don't want F sharp put a natural sign this is a B and in front there's a flat here so this is B flat now let's make it natural last one this is also B but because of the flat here it became B flat now let's make it natural